video if you didn't read the title I guess I'll just tell you right now I'm going to be attempting to do my makeup like Marilyn Monroe because I found this little tutorial picture thing on Pinterest and it looked really simple and I thought it would be fun to try and I figured why not film it so here I am and obviously it's all done now and for some reason I do a British accent a lot in today's video. I know Marilyn Monroe wasn't British. I just felt like doing it, okay? So what are you gonna what are you gonna say? What are you gonna do about that? And I actually think it turned out pretty cute. Wasn't expecting that. But here we are. Thanks for clicking. As always, stay tuned if you want to see me attempt to get this look. Okay, so I've already got my foundation on because ain't nobody want to see that. Boring. Besides, it doesn't say anything about foundation. So, okay, so I'm looking at the picture. It says to highlight, and I think it just means with, like, concealer, not actual highlight. On the center of the forehead, eyelids, underneath eyebrows, along the top of nose, center of chin, and cheek area around the nose. Okay, that's a lot. Honestly, I think this concealer is like the same shade as my foundation, so I don't really know how much highlighting it's going to do. But we're going to try it anyway, because we're dedicated here. Oh, that was a lot. Eyelids. Okay. I never do my makeup this way. Okay, underneath eyebrows. We're gonna be blending this. Go on the top of your nose. Now let's blend it. Yeah. Is that highlight? I can't tell. Okay, so I just put some powder on my face because it doesn't say anything about powder, so I just went ahead and did it. But I forgot to do my nose contour before I powdered. So I'm just gonna do it now, which is like, okay, because her nose is more of like a button, you know, the cute kind that I don't have. look like Marilyn Monroe yet. I swear to god if I don't look like a bombshell by the end of this. So the next thing to do is eyebrows, my favorite. Eyebrows are so fun. And it says high arch, sharp descent, groomed brows with feathery strokes. Okay, so my eyebrows are pretty arched right now. Um, I'm just gonna fold them in a little bit and make sure they're extra sharp. I need an extra defined shape is I'll brush down my eyebrows like this and then I'll just fill in the top part with whatever shape I want. And you can see how that already gives it a much more defined shape 
and arch. Now I'm working on the sharp descent. Okay, so now I'm gonna do contour and it just says outer cheeks and temples. So I'm gonna be using this Hula Bronzer by Benefit. She's a little dusty. Even though it's like way too dark for my skin tone, I usually use this when I'm tanned, but I just wanna be like snatched today, you know? So I guess we'll just do the outer cheeks and temples like it said. <laughs> assume by outer cheeks it meant cheekbones, right? That's what an outer cheek is. That's what I'm going to call them from now on. And my temples. Just getting makeup all over my headband. My hand sewn from a sock headband. Yeah, that's right. I made it. Because I'm crafty like that. You have to be when you're in quarantine, you know? Okay, so it doesn't say anything about blush, which I'm really surprised about. But I'm just going to be using my regular old blush. I found another picture of her makeup where it says blush rose. So this is just going to have to do good enough. I'm just going to put it on like I normally do, but not as much. Just a subtle little hint, you know? like a normal person would do. It doesn't say anything about eyeshadow, but I'm just going to put a little bit on my crease because in a lot of pictures, oh, <laughs> in a lot of pictures it looks like she has that and this tutorial is very simple. I don't know why I chose it. It just looked fun. Okay. This eyelid is always so much worse than the other one when it comes to putting on eyeshadow. I don't know why. I think we all have our defective eyelid. This one is mine. I'm just gonna add a little bit more on my eyelid and brow bone to highlight them more. And I'm just gonna use this e.l.f. palette. work? I don't really know. How about just made it worse? Okay, so next it says lashes. Half set of false lashes. Now, first of all, I don't even have false lashes. Second of all, I cannot put them on for the life of me. So we're not going to be doing that. It says brown pencil liner with a high wing. Okay, I don't have a brown pencil liner, so I'm just going to be using this black crayon eyeliner so it's not as harsh as my liquid liner. So I'm just going to start in on the wing. I think it's a bit uneven. just my eyelids, I'm telling you. Okay, so this next part is my favorite in the thing that I'm looking at. It says a very slight line downwards at lower lash to suggest the shadow from the upper lashes. I thought that was cool because that's like kind of her iconic thing. I think that'll really pull the look together. And if I don't look like her after that, I'm quitting. So I'm just going to take this little brush and a brown eyeshadow from in here to do that. I guess I could have used that to do the eyeliner too, but you know what? It is what it is. Oh my gosh. I'm scared. I don't want to mess this part up. Is it working? I did it wrong. Alright, we just had a situation, but it's fine now, I swear. 
Okay, so I cleaned the shadows up a little bit and I also added white liner on my waterline because it just felt like something I needed to do. Okay, so it doesn't say anything about mascara. I'm realizing this tutorial doesn't say a lot of things, <laughs> but I'm just gonna go ahead and do mascara. I'm getting Lana Del Rey vibes from this, seriously. I'm gonna do a makeup look on her one day. Just wait, I'm going to. I already did, but I privated it because who knows what it even is. Like, I haven't watched it in so long. And I wanna do it in a one. I'm gonna try to like bring it out to the side so it's more like elongated rather than doll-like. yeah now the shadows look like they make way more sense on my face for lips it literally just says coats of lipstick and gloss highlight center of bottom lip okay here's the thing pretty much all my lipstick is back in Colombia like I don't have a lot of makeup here right now so we're just gonna make do with what we have because we're crafty around here I have this lip liner that I use a lot. It's just kind of like a berry color. It's not red, unfortunately, but I'm just gonna use that because I think it's our best option. Unfortunately, I feel like I should be actually looking at a picture of her, not just this thing, but we're all about winging it here. I just found this red elf lip gloss in a drawer don't know how old it is don't know where it came from don't care oh you know what I think it came in this like Halloween vampire elf makeup kit that I got one time so we're just gonna pop that over the lip liner don't know why I'm super British today but Now I'm going to do her little beauty mark, classic, it's on this side. <laughs> so I think we're done. This would be so much better if I was blonde, or had a wig, or knew how to do anything with my hair, but unfortunately, I'm just not blessed with that skill. This is the look. Do I look like her? I think it turned out kind of cute. Not my normal, everyday makeup switching it up a bit it's fun to do that every once in a while i like doing these makeup videos they're fun let me know if you like them and if you want to see more i'm gonna do more regardless if i want to but anyway i hope you enjoyed watching me sit here and attempt this and maybe you can attempt it too just for fun or for halloween listen i know it's may but it's never too early for Halloween, okay? Alright, well, subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!